And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later for some Mardu midrange. So we played this deck about five days ago now is whenever I built it and we played it the first time and it was a lot of fun. And so I wanted to play it again here. Uh, we got about a week left in War of the Spark standard before M20 is out. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go back over this next week and kind of replay uh, some decks for maybe the last time. Maybe we'll get... You know, maybe we'll get one more time with Mardu Midrange here because it is still a week. But, you know, get some of our, our favorites in for the last time. So if you have some decks uh, that we've played before that uh, you want me to go back over uh, before we have the newer format, uh, you know, let me know. Um, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, put put a comment down in the comment section there. Any of the decks that you really liked. Um, but as you can see here, we have the Mardu Midrange. We have the Jund Revival deck that was a whole lot of fun a few, a few days ago i think that was just three days ago that deck was a blast so replaying that uh infinite bolus wanted to play that uh janky combo one more time here and uh and then yeah sultai neoform that's a new deck uh this sultai neoform is a user submitted deck that looks kind of crazy with just basically all one ofs so i'm gonna try that out um so mono red crisis and teamer hydra cool cool those are some good ones. All right. So anyway, uh, yeah, what we're trying to do here is we are taking advantage of a Johnny, four mana Johnny, and four mana Soren. We're taking advantage of both of these creatures' ability to get our creatures, sorry, both these Planeswalkers' abilities to get our creatures from our graveyard to the battlefield. So we are going to be rebuying our cards like Tithe Taker, Daredevil, Reveler, Butcher, especially the Daredevil, Reveler, Butcher part. Um, and so, yeah, we just kind of grind people out with this. And uh, we also have the Command the Dread Horde. They can get a whole bunch of things back. And we can gain a lot of life in this deck because of Soren giving our creatures lifelink on our own turn. It's just a fun little deck. Just some cool cool little creatures. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get started. Without further ado, uh, let's head on. Is Sor Does Soren have one? Who's the black-white one? Oh, it's Kaya's black-white. I haven't been Kaya in a while. Stands we'll, in my way. we'll play Kaya. All right, let's go through some leagues. And have some fun today. That's that's what we're that's what we're doing for our last week here. We're having fun. I was just watching the Bant Party Bus video and I was literally laugh out loud. <laughs> Dude, that video was awesome from yesterday. I'm actually uh I was actually a little uh, a little sad on like the the uh, number of views on YouTube that that video has. I was hoping that one was going to have more because that one was awesome. Um, maybe I need to start like a playlist of like favorite decks kind of thing, like ones that that are a lot of fun and everything, like the Jund Revival from last time. Why Angrath? Just because Angrath's really just a, because Angrath really is just very strong. Um, just a good card and yeah i think it's just underrated and and everything but yeah it's just my my five mana planeswalker choice to be my top end and uh yeah steel steel creatures there's a, like most creatures are are uh cmc three or less these days and so it, it's basically a removal spell but then there's a lot of these kind of control decks like where that tick up make them discard a card lose two life it ends games pretty quickly Favorites is a good idea. Okay. So Orion says, I feel like I always lose when I play Gruul. I either get burnt out by Mono Red or out controlled by Esper or something like that. Just me or should I be playing more or less top end? Hmm. Yeah, Gruul... Gruul is kind of tough to play because it is... You know, you, you do have like that balance there, like where you know you're you're basically trying to do the opposite of what you're saying there, uh, stabilize against the red deck and um, have your threats be able to stick against the. Do I want Chupacabra? Yeah, I'm scared of this. And have your threats stick against the control deck. It's kind of tough, though. It's it's the kind of thing that, like, 
when you curve out, you usually win, but if you don't, you may not, and things like that. Um, so if I would have hit the land drop here, I would have gone direfully Daredevil, uh, Daredevil Thought Erasure. But yeah, so I'm not sure. Yeah, so you're saying, should I be playing more or less top end? I'm not sure. Um, for the answer for that question. To be honest. Uh, I don't really want to discard any of my cards in hand. I guess it's Chupacabra. All these other cards are awesome. Gotta love Daredevil with Thought Erasure. All right, big Nickel Bolas. Two widespread brutalities. This cost that costs double red. They have one red right now and two nickel bol two other nickel boluses. That's gonna be a really, really hard hand to fight through, to be honest. This is gonna be a tough one. Yeah, this is gonna be really hard to fight through. Like the brutalities. I guess I have to take one of the brutalities. Ugh, yuck. Not sure why. Not sure why the overseer didn't attack. This is pretty awkward how... Oh my gosh, this isn't... It doesn't just cast it for free. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was that was just a terrible turn. I was just thinking with Chupacabra, like, the whole time, like, I was going to minus four, bring back Chupacabra to kill that, and then I... Last minute, I was like, no, I'll just, I'll just coil it. And then keep soaring around. What am I doing? That was just... Horrible play. Okay. All right, shaking the cobwebs off. First match of the day. Yeah, that was a horrible play. Hmm. How am I going to do this? All right, well, yeah, that was a complete waste.
So I can't have... Okay, Nickel Bulls is, are just going to end this. Alright, so I need to minus four the Soren and get rid of... And, and bring back Chupacabra to kill the Overseer. Like, that's what I need to do. And then save Daredevil for Coil. That's just a bad play. So widespread brutalities, huh? That's a tough card. All right, let's get these Gideons in here and this Command the Dread Horde. And I'm going to cut the Judiths for the Gideons. And cut one Angrath. I mean, I, I probably want, like, Dispark or Elder Spell. But it's just what to take out. Hey, Mr. Oogie Boogie. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. Our second sub of the day. This might be... Maybe this isn't really a match for the Butcher. Hmm. No. Butcher's good. Just read Monty back in here. All right, I'll take out one Tithe Taker for a for one Dispark. And keep the other Tithe Taker in. They they definitely look like they're going to be, you know, a mass army focused, and Dispark's not really clearing up the mass army. Well, if we draw a land, this could be pretty good. Really need two lands, to be honest. But I love Gideon Blackblade. Okay. Well, we did not draw the land. We just drew four, five, four for our, our CMCs with our three draw steps with two lands. Ugh. Just an ugly, ugly, ugly match. I don't want to just start over, but we won't. <laughs> that first game, I just threw it away and then didn't even play a second game. A, a Karn list? Um, like... So not not the mono green Tron Rex, a different Karn list. Hey, I've had good afternoon. Good afternoon. Blech. Well, that was not the start that I wanted at all. <laughs> well, you'd be incorrect, Hedron Bride. Huh, that's that's not the deck. I'm gonna try to update the deckless command. I thought I did that before, but maybe I didn't. Oh no. Maybe I did update. I'm just looking I'm looking at the wrong deck. No, I didn't. I didn't update. Okay. 
Well. That was the thing I forgot to do. I forgot to put the decks up on Stream Decker. Felt like I wasn't doing... There was something I didn't do before. Okay, we get our, our retry against Grixis here. This is my deck I've had. That's a good sign for us that they're ditching Nicol Bolas. Good sign for us. Is this Thought Erasure card rotating out anytime soon? It's not? Oh. Who are you to call me mad? <laughs> and Grat's so good. You're just fuel Yoink. your crew for my freedom. So we don't kill them. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and get rid of the Sarkin. Because we can attack them for 9. Which doesn't kill them. But now they have nothing but the one card in hand. We got two creatures and a Planeswalker in play. And a removal spell in hand. Yeah, Angrath was perfect. There. Yep, yeah, Reaper, unfortunately, non-token creature, so yeah, we didn't get to draw a card. Alright, so it looks like our opponent's deck here. Hey, like a Zoe, thanks for that resub. Looks like our opponent's Grixis deck is more Planeswalker focused, with them playing Sarkin. Sarkin's gotta mean a lot of Planeswalkers. So let's get these Elder Spells in here to go with the Disparks. And the Gidgeons. And we are taking out Choops. Yeah, I'll just take out Choops. And... What else? I probably want, the, I want this other Command the Dread Horde. And we'll take out the Judiths. And now we got to still cut two more cards. I guess it could just I guess it's just the Tithe Takers, but Tithe Takers are kinda good against Grixis, because you know, like they trade with a removal spell and get a body. Um it's you know, it's I think I think the only things that are realistic to cut are like the Tithe Taker, the Reveler, the Butcher. I think it's gotta be one of these. Yeah, I forgot to update the deck list command. I'll do that after the match here. I'm gonna trim butchers. And trim two of those, because tight because you know they are an attrition deck, and tight taker leaves behind another body. Dreadhorde butcher just deals a little bit of damage, but if we're trying to, you know, grind the opponent out, dealing just a little bit of damage isn't as valuable. I guess I should just play Blood Crypt. Hey, what a surprise. Yep, Daughter Rager turn two.
All the remodi revelers. <laughs> hey Zeet. Hope you're having a good day. Hey like a dudes. <laughs> and S draw. Howdy. Hope y'all are all having a, a wonderful day. Alright, so we get to Thaw Razor. Thanks for all the the kind words and everything. Everybody stopping by and saying hi. I appreciate that. Sweet. Alright, got the Got the nickel bolus out of there. Together we are unstoppable. Again. Uh, being, we'll bring back the Rimadi, just the Godless Shrine. So Johnny traded with the removal spell, plus gave us a 2-2, plus cycled away a land and turned it into a Tithe Taker. So pretty good. I'm going to keep the land in hand, though, because of Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. If they play that and I have to discard something, I'll discard the land. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I will return. Witness a moat of my power. I have other schemes to attend to. Yeah. All right, beating them down. No. Gosh, four good cards. Soren, a Johnny, Butcher, Reaper, and then we just draw the land, obviously. Obviously, that's how it works. Yeah, Demonic Fire Lord. Yep, I'm going to try that one up next. Well, that was a, a terrible Enter the God Eternals for us. All right, command the Dread Horde. They're keeping that spell on top, so it's likely you know, some kind of good threat, but. I can't like play crafter it away because they have this other four four, so we gotta just play crafter now. Perfect. This can kill that thing, right? We can rampage it away. Or I could enter the god eternals. I don't have the mana for enter the god eternals, never mind. Oh. Rampage. Daredevil's so good. So are they putting the Kefnet back or no? They are. Okay. It's a brick. That's a brick. Kefnet doesn't save him. Oh, 
All right, one and one. Made up for that first match. I think our Grixis matchup's not so bad. Okay, let me update our deck list command. Let me get this up on. Up on Stream Decker. All right, my bad from before, so now that should work. Good looking hand. On the play with Dreadhorde Butcher, turn two. So since they printed a Merfolk Pirate in M20, they're committing to crossing all of the Ixalan tribes, right? I didn't see that. So there's there's a Merfolk pirate. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't I don't want them crossing all the tribes. I don't want, you know, dinosaur vampires and you know, vampire pirates. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, or a, di a dinosaur pirate. <laughs> all right, do we get Grixis again? I'll take Grixis again. You want dinosaur vampires? <laughs> no, it looks like is it. Or is it? Yeah, it probably is. Some Phoenix. So if I play Midnight Reaper... No, I'm just playing this other Butcher. Wait, we already have Vampire... We have Vampire Dragon, but... Wait, do we have Vampire Dragons? But the, the four tribes of Ixalons are dinosaurs, vampires... Um... Merfolk and Pirate. Oh, man. I'm saving Daredevil for like a lightning strike or like lava coil if we need it, but I want to save Daredevil for a burn spell. But I could have, you know, like attacked and then Daredevil chart a course, for example. So they block the 4-4 four, four, and then we deal 4 to them and they go to 1. We draw another card. All right, blew up. Dinosaur vampires. What do vampires really do anyway? They just like sit around and drink wine, right? Like it's not like all vampires do. Kind of looks like all Soren's doing. It's like, would you want a a dinosaur doing that? Yeah, they make snarky comments. Yeah, they do that. Blood? Eh, it's probably wine. Yeah, I guess maybe it's blood. All right, I'm going to take out Command the Dread Horde and bring in these to Sparks and cut. Hmm. Cut a Playcrafter. Cut an Angrath. Angrath's cool.
Yeah, I could cut an Ajani. Ajani... I guess we already have Soren to bring stuff. I do like Ajani, like, making stuff bigger. It's pretty important in this matchup. Maybe it's just a Choop. No. Angrath. I'll cut an Angrath. I'll just cut the five mana card. <laughs> Dino Vampire sounds like a 90s cartoon ship. Would the dinosaurs just be like chilling in the dark and hanging upside down? All right, not necessarily an idea, ideal hand. It'd be pterodactyls. Oh, okay. Get some pterodactyl dinos. Or sorry, vampires. Some pterodactyl vampires. Ooh, good call. Good call on the discard there. No, don't bring back Phoenix. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Ugh. Yuck. Now my playcrafter is a lot worse. Alright, turn three Phoenix on the play. I think you got me. I need to draw to Spark. Or more Judiths. Who game? Hmm. So Playcrafter is going to be better on the play. When we can get the Electromancer before it goes crazy. I guess Lyra may do more for us than a Johnny or Angrath. We'll, we'll cut an, we'll cut the other Angrath and one of the, one of the Johnnies and bring in the Lyras. No two drops, not great. I don't think this is a mulligan. Ugh. Just hoping to draw into the two drop. I don't think, not very confident that we're going to be winning this. I think we're going to have to get fortunate to win this. Monday's going really good, Biblek. Or Briblek. There we go. Hope your Monday's going really good as well. I did sideboard in Lyra. I did. Looks like they're debating whether or not to shock the Reaper. And they're going to say nope. So. We know our opponent has a shock. 
Oh no. Boo. I would have liked to, to do to double spell here. We just have to kill that thing though. I require your body, not your soul. Now the Soren's gonna die of the shock. I just have to get rid of it though. That's unfortunate. Trading a Soren for an Electromancer. There's the shock. A triumph of the weak. So they're down to four cards. I'm gonna lead with Tithe Taker so they can't just shock right now. And I could have gone Butcher and hit him for one. Turn Butcher into a 2 2, but I'm gonna get this thing in play. Hey, Zeet with the tier 1 sub. Welcome to the channel, Zeet. I need to get my high boats back. That's our fourth sub of the day already. Thank you so much for that support. Uh, you're welcome. Another coil. Boo. Draw two. Yeah. Need those treader courses. All right, gonna coil the Drake. Hoping they don't have a dive down or negate or anything like that. Spell pierce, you know, anything like that. Yay. And now uh, we have four cards in hand to their three. And we have our three creatures on the battlefield. This Daredevil is awesome. Right, yeah. That's true, they had negate. They, or so they couldn't negate because of Tithe Taker. Good point. So, but they could have uh, spell pierce or dive down. Hey, what's up, Nari Nen? I'm having a really good Monday so far. Ooh. That's a good one. So, do I sacrifice the Tithe Taker? I get the 1-1, one, one, but then spells cost more. Or do I just sacrifice the Daredevil? I could just sacrifice the Playcrafter, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to just sacrifice the Playcrafter. Our opponent, our opponent was really annoyed by that tithe taker.
<laughs> Alright, so that's... A lot of burn spells so far. Oh, Butcher. Happy to know ya. And there we go, that's game. It's very sweet. Our first match that we lost was definitely just a throwaway. Throwaway match, but besides that, you can see how this deck grinds people out, and the direfully Daredevils have been insanely good against these blue red decks. <laughs> Thanks, Radical Guru. I had to get the warm-up game out of the out of my system. Hey Turtle Ball, GG's. Yeah, good games there. Alright, let's keep this. Looks good. We can ditch one of the creatures if we want to the Remodi Reveler in hopes of getting it back. So Gruel deck, we definitely want Choops. Uh we're drawing more lands. We can ditch a land. Let's get rid of the Blood Crypt. We've still got two black, two red, three white. We're good there. Trade my Remodi Reveler for a Paradise Dru for the Paradise Druid. I think that's a good trade. It costs six mana to try to get the null hide. So we'll just get this attack in here. Kill that thing. Yeah, I wear a tie because I like how I look in a tie. That's it. Simple. That's how I like to present myself. Proud to fight by your side. Definitely feel you like they have removal. I just keep on pointing at my creatures, waiting to use it. I don't own any clip on ties. If I attack there, if they have, you know, like they use the removal spell on like the Chupacabra, and then untap, use like another removal spell on like the Reveler, hit me for six, and I'm like dead to a burn spell or something.
wish you only the best. <laughs> I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. All right, so now we're going to gain a lot of life. And keep cycling this Remodi Reveler. I demand servitude. Yeah, we're gonna just keep the Soren and a Johnny and just keep doing this. Just keep recycling this thing. The Daredevil can be a lightning strike, but that's not, you know, super valuable. Plus, these these things get Daredevil back also. Remember, so it's not like the Daredevil's gone forever. I can have Soren or a Johnny bring Daredevil back. Yeah, I'll wear dress, dress shirts and ties off stream also. Yeah, our deck is really grindy. It's really cool. Nissa? Why is that second main? Harness the elements. Three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm at 13, so I can't take everything, so I don't take the... I don't, even, I don't even have the mana for it. Okay, so if I bring back Daredevil... How are we going to do this? This is going to be the first thing. Uh, how rude. I will endure. Accept the darkness with you. I am in need of rest. All right, Nissa's out of here. That lands out of here. Sarah. It was kind of a risky block because if they would have just had the burn spell to kill the Judith, then my Daredevil would have died also. Alright, so we're at 19. So 4, 8. Those are the most valuable things. 12. 17. That'll be game. My soul is your shabby proud this. to come so far. Make a land a creature. The land fights for us. Pump some stuff up. And they all have lifelink, but we're also attacking for lethal. So there we go. All 
All right, so the Gruul deck. I think we want some Lyra's. The spark seems okay. Yeah, this deck's a lot of fun. I really like this deck too. We we lost the match because I I just it was first match of the day. I I threw away the first game. I played really bad, and then the the second game I kept a two laner. We didn't draw a land. The first match was a throwaway match, but since then this has been working out quite well. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much Daredevil is going to really do. Like, how many burn spells are they going to be playing? Like, they'll probably have some, but I don't know. Like, I probably don't need all four Daredevils. Let's give this a try. Heap. I could see cutting Judith and Dreadhorde Butcher, honestly. Maybe I should have done that on the draw here. I was thinking about that for, like, baffling ends and everything. Because these creatures are kind of small. Gonna set up. No land drop, huh? Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. All right, let's have the Dreadhorde Butcher just clear up the board. We'll be able to kill the Domri pr pretty easily. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. You belong to me now. Do four there, three here. No, you haven't seen the last of me. Back up to twenty with that life link. Saving troops for a bigger thing, a bigger threat, you know, like a Ripjaw Raptor, for example.
But we got pretty fortunate there for drawing the land. And this game's over. Vampirism is a useful Alright, three and one. Man, Mardu mid range. Crushing it. There you go. Thanks, Caspi. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. All right. Three and one. We're coming back after that throwaway match number one. Yeah, we can try this. <laughs> Only literal degenerates wear clip on ties. Um, question is this deck is greedy on lands. And I mean, it is a, a three color deck. So, yeah, hitting all your specific colors can be tough at times. It's the main reason. Main reason to play Remadi Reveler is to smooth out your draws. You know, like if you are missing lands, missing different colors of lands. You know, it helps you out, or if, or if, um, you have way too many lands, Reveler can help you out there as well. What's up, Millennium God? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Fifth sub of the day. So yeah, I could play Judith, pump up the power of the Reveler and attack and have him trade. But we'll just get that thing out of here. Together, we will prevail. Behold, nature's true power. No play crafter. So they have to block with this, the cemetery on the reveler. <laughs> Nissa, who ends the game. Nissa is good, that's for sure. My patience. Cease this aggression. Kind of wish I would have ditched the other Daredevil right about now. I would rather be playing a Remadi from my hand than a Daredevil. If I'm playing the, the Daredevil. The first strikes are, are pretty nice. The land shall conquer you. So 
So yeah, the, the first strikers are nice. They get through the lands. Hmm. <laughs> I leave dead bodies for us. Why don't I need... oh, It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Ah, don't be surprised if we meet again. All right, so Soren can bring back Judith to make these three one first strikers again. They're down to one card. If they have a crisis, they get to play a crisis for three. Okay, they're just doing crisis for two. You should fear those born of darkness. Embrace the bloodlust. So if they want to keep Nissa around, they got a double chump. My strength fades. Alright, so Nissa dies. Soren will die to Krasis. Well, I can't, I can't block the flyer, so I don't really need to play the blocker on there. I mean, this is a Sultai deck. They usually have a, a good amount of spells and stuff. I, I can't keep the Krasis from killing the Soren. No, our opponent could only do Kras Well, yeah, I guess, yeah, they could have done a bigger Krasis if they... They could have done a bigger Krasis if they didn't play the Vraska at all. They could have done Krasis no for fire, seven. No steel. Or I guess eight, technically. Yeah, getting her, rid of that Nissa clutch. Good job, Angrath. Clutch Angrath. <laughs> that tickled. So I steal the watery grave. Kill the choop. And kill or kill the jade light, kill them. Eleven. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> oh, I guess twelve, right? The water grave is a four three. All right, GG. Got the first one. Got the first one. All right, bring this other Command the Dreadhorde in for sure. The Baffling Ends seem like something I want. Same with Massacre Girl. Hmm. Kind of tough. I think it's just Butcher. Butcher doesn't seem to really match up against these green creature decks too well. Do you like to spark also? One Mask Girl, one to spark.
Oh, maybe I should have taken out a Daredevil for another to spark. I don't know. Daredevil's cool. Honestly, maybe I should not be taking out the Judiths. The Judith was pretty important there with the sizing. Well, this is either going to go really bad or really good. We got good mana and we have good top end. So now that's the bad draw. Now we need to draw the low end. We need to draw two and three mana cards, which our deck is filled with two and three mana cards. So hopefully we can draw one of those. Hey, wow, gamer. Going really good today. Uh, teach you how to tie a tie. Say, I would say to go to howtotieatie.com. It is a very convenient website. Whenever I'd have like my students ask me how to tie a tie, I'd send them there. Oh no. Ruling you will be excellent research. Turn three, Tammy. Yo. I know, I oh no. Somewhere. I like the full Windsor. That's my favorite uh, tie knot, the full Windsor. That's the one I do. It used to be, Sarah. Not anymore. All right, well, it went, it went very bad. Three draws, and all lands. Let me aid your research. We need to draw a two or a three drop in the three cards. We'll at least have something to play on turn three. And nope, didn't go that way. Just Subject more and more should have mulliganed. My deck's just telling me, why, why didn't you mulligan? Here's a land. I'm like, I don't want a land, I want a spell. And they're like, here's a land, why didn't you mulligan? I'm like, come on, deck. Why do you gotta be like that? Turn three, here's a land. Turn four, here's another land. You should have mulliganed. It's like, okay, I get the point. To the library. <laughs> you waste your stamina. Setting a bad example. <laughs> it's not a mulligan mistake, it's a highly refined turbo flood game plan. Yeah, that's the hope. Uh, I don't think my opponent has any more wild growth walkers in here, do they? So four. Uh, 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. Go down to five. Do I not have a Tamio? I thought I grabbed their Tamio. I guess not. I require your body, not your soul. No, Valeria doesn't. Uh, I have a separate. I don't. I don't put any music up on the YouTube channel. Separate audio tracks. I missed Tamio. Whoops. I have learned much from my ancestors. So they will crasis for a bunch, but then we'll kill the crasis with the baffling end. Yeah, I don't want to massacre a girl here. I don't want to refill their graveyard, but yeah, it is a nice plan B. I guess the Brontodon does... Oh, yeah, no, the, the Brontodon doesn't... Yeah, Brontodon doesn't work there. No one asked for your input. <laughs> Time for a drink. Cool, yeah. Yeah, Valeri. So, yeah, if you don't get to catch a live, the YouTube channel works quite well there. Do not fear, my friend. Deliver us to victory. So the Branch Walkers do have lifelink because of Soren, so I'll be gaining eight life here, going to fourteen. More data will be needed. Man, the Dread Horde's a silly card. We had no business being in this game. You, like, don't do anything until turn six, and then turn six, it's only like, oh hey, look, now we have everything. Yeah, we're playing best of three. You can see here, we got game one. Looks like a third crisis. Ugh. Yep.
they do theirs for six. So I do mine for seven. Make mine bigger. Yeah, Reaper and a Massacre Girl would have us draw a whole lot of cards and lose a lot of life. I'm taking up on the Branch Walkers so that next turn up they can be 6-6s. Six or like 6-5s, six they, can, they can be 6 power. Alright, so they want to command back their hostage taker, looks like. Oh, that's true. I wouldn't lose any life, because Soren. Good, good call, good call. Correct, I would not lose any life. I would just draw a lot of cards. But like they, they probably have a command in their hand, honestly. For how they how they kill hostage taker. I gotta assume they have a command in hand. See in yourself what I see in you. I kinda wanna have Daredevil for their command the Dread Horde. Is that crazy or should I just cast down Their crisis. Yeah, I should just cast down their crisis. Should attack with the other Remodi Reveler also. So they're at eleven. They don't get to they don't get to get very much stuff back. At eleven. Like two, four, six, eight. Basically just those. No, I think our opponent has Command the Dread Horde. Yeah, like Certainly looking like they have command the Dread Horden. But they don't get to get a lot of stuff back. Ah, they have Finale of Eternity. Well then. 
That's worse for me than command. Does this exile itself? No, it, it does not. So I would need to have 12 mana one, two, to do the same thing. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need three, three more mana. Well, we have that thing. All right, well, we got a command. Our opponent's kind of kind of dead. All right, Masker Girl into Command the Dread Horde. Oh, you have you have a whole lot of stuff. How about I want all that stuff? I want all of the stuff. Oh man, this is great. Oh, everybody in the chat's going crazy. Uh, I'm gonna ultimate a Johnny. Thank you. We fight together. So we got 37 life. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty. 6, I would like to test the new hypothesis. I understand you are in need of support. Nah. I guess I could have just got more stuff, but played it safe. Fiona Apple's criminals on here. Man, I am feeling like a criminal after stealing that game. <laughs> oh, Command the Dread Horde. What a crazy card. We had no business being in that game. Didn't see a door, so I let myself in. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's four and one. That means we are on the final boss, Hawkeye. Let's get our final boss playlist up. And I didn't really even play the first match that I lost. I played it really bad. We're really kind of 4-0 with this deck, to be honest. Yeah. Well, so our opponent didn't our our opponent did not play Dreadhorde. They played Finale of Eternity and just put every single one of their creatures into play off Finale of Eternity. They never played Command the Dreadhorde. But yeah, 11 mana, exactly enough to Masker Girl away the board and then command and get it all back. That was crazy. Yeah, they probably didn't expect to lose after that finale. Probably not. Especially not lose the very next turn. <laughs> finale for 10 and put, you know, a dozen creatures into play and then lose the very next turn. Yeah, the early the the flood early was a part of the big plan all along. Yep. We need to hit get to 11 mana there. 
Yeah, you got it right. Pi gaming person that spends more mana wins. Epic, epic game there. That wasn't even our best game in the last two days, though. I think I think our our match against Sultai. Like I don't even think that was our best match against Sultai, Dreadhorde in the last two days. Because I think our match against Sultai Dreadhorde yesterday with Bant Party Bus was even better than that. That one we stole a you know we also stole a game. Our opponent dread horde for like all this stuff they had everything and then we combo condo comboed them out with wall of lost thoughts and milled them out <laughs> it was crazy if y'all didn't watch that video if y'all haven't watched that video on youtube you should check that one out this is match number four in there All right, I'm going to mulligan this. I'm not going to keep the four cards that cost four mana with only two lands. Learned our lesson from earlier with that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and just shift that other hand. Yeah, they, yep. Final Fantasy VII is being remade. I saw something that's like remade in, on like two parts, and each part they're selling at like full price of a, of a video game these days, whatever that costs. Yeah, so like 60 bucks. Each. I could be wrong on that. I mean, I just, that was kind of like a offhand thing they're hurting. This is kind of tough. We don't really have anything necessarily that we want, that we're like, is like really good to get rid of right now. Daredevil is just so good against blue red decks. You know, now that if I knew I had the land, I would have definitely wanted to ditch the land. Just kind of a tough call there. I went with Daredevil though because it's easier to get back. We find it, you know, a Johnny gets back Daredevil but doesn't get back Playcrafter. So each each disc is gonna be a full game at full price, gotcha. It's three parts, not even two parts. Thanks, Radical Guru. Oh, man. Got really punished for not ditching the land. Should have ditched the land. Yeah, we could have two Daredevils in hand right now. That would be so nice. The Butcher. Alright, so Grixis aggro. Not erasure you back. So they have another erasure. The Devil, Enter the God Eternals. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God. I have no idea why my opponent didn't cast that other Thought Erasure. I mean, well, I guess they there was like they knew about the the Daredevil in hand though. Like, yeah, they could have just cast that that Thought Erasure and taken my Daredevil. So I, I don't know why, honestly. I don't know what they wanted out of that card more than that. All right, so that's worst case scenario was them hitting this. Yeah, that was worst case scenario them hitting the land and playing Dragon God ticking up. Really hope that doesn't happen. Really hope they don't play Dragon God tick up. Or tick down, either. Yay.
All right, so we get to use a Johnny to take the Dragon God out of their hand. And then we just got to, you know, somehow beat uh, the stuff that's left here. Oh, no, 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 we don't. We have to have to, we'd have to have two more mana for that. Hmm. We'd have to have another mana, I mean. Yeah, I guess I just have to go get get Remati Reveler and just draw another card, I suppose. Our kinship ensures our you know, this means that Johnny's going to die, of course. Yeah, our opponent milled our daredevil. That was rude. Any good ideas or lists for Niv-Miz at Reborn? Yes. Oh, for standard Brawl? Oh, what's, what's Brawl? I don't know what standard Brawl is. I have a, a really sweet, for just regular standard, I have a really sweet Niv-Miz at Reborn deck. You can see us. You can see the, the list here and us crushing in Mythic with the deck from just a couple days ago. Oh, okay, Brawl, the, the commander format? Okay, well, no, I haven't made any Brawl decks, so no, I don't I don't have any Brawl decks, I'm sorry. Um, but maybe you could take a look at like my regular Niv-Mizzet Reborn list and kinda work from there for a Brawl list. Well, that was like best case scenario for me. And then just like, why would they not just like have if if that was their plan? Why would they not just have Nicol Bolas minus on the Remati Reveler and then attack the Ajani? You could just do that. My revenge will be painful. And you get them both. For for Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. Keep the land in hand in case of Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. Uh, speaking of that card. I guess if you if you head over to... I guess the, the best thing... I have a lot of different Nicol Bolas, the Ravager decks, honestly. If you head over to the YouTube channel, click the video tab, and just, just kind of scroll for any of the Grixis decks. Lots of different Grixis decks. There. You can kind of put them all together since you're looking for singleton. My intellect is without limit. I mean, the only, yeah, the only sweeper our opponent could have that would punish us for playing the Tithe Taker 
is is cryocarnarium. So yeah, could have, could see just playing the the thought erasure and playing it super safe and take like seeing whatever their last card is and then swinging six damage at Nicol Bolas. Could also even really see just playing the edge of the God Eternals. And maybe I didn't have an, quite enough mana for into the God Eternals. I think I did. I could see even just doing that and making a four four also. But I was just gonna I went with a Bedevil and. Everything. All right, well, let's see. So they, they were Grixis Aggro. We saw Dreadhorde Butcher, Thief of Sanity. So do I want Baffling End? Probably not. I'm going to kill one of the Judas for the command, and that's it. Nothing else. Yeah, so they, they may turn into more of a control deck here. That's possible. But we still have a good amount of removal. You know, we have, like, the even if they go bigger, like, for the Planeswalkers, we have the Plague Crafters, and we have the Daredevils, and we have Chupacabra still. You know, like, our, our deck has an okay amount of removal. Why no Elder Spell? Because I think that Nickel, like I think their five mana Nickel Bolas is probably their only Planeswalker. I'd rather play Dispark, since that's the case, because Dispark can hit Nickel Bolas the Ravager, as well as Dragon God. This is not ideal. So, no, I, I wouldn't play all these Chupes against other Grixis. You know, like, we played against other Grixis decks, and I didn't didn't have all these Chupacabras in, but since we saw Dreadhorde Butcher from them and Thief of Sanity, I'm keeping in the Chupacabras. This isn't just, like, a normal Grixis control deck that we're playing against. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. All right, well, we don't didn't get to play Magic Game 2, so we're going to have to basically win both our games here, but we'll, at least we get to be on the play again. Um, there's 25 lands in the deck. Okay, we get a playable six. Mm -hmm. 
So if I ditch the Playcrafter, I can get it back with Soren. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We did pretty good with Mardu Angels the other day. Um, we won our first, like, four-ish matches with... Yeah, I think we went 4-0 to start with and then lost our last two. Um, our mana base really hurt us in our losses with the deck. There was too many lands that were single color. There was not enough dual lands in that deck. Of course, having our two drop in our graveyard is a just a fine place to have it with Sorens and a Johnny. All right, so Playcrafter time. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. So good place for Playcrafter to be. Curse you and your progeny. I honestly I want you land drops here with, with having this command the dread horde in hand. To the fight. There we go. So that's why I had the reveler come in and ditch the butcher, look for a land. Land drop? Dang. That's rough. I don't want to get rid of Direfleet Daredevil. That card's awesome. And I don't want to get rid of Command. That card's awesome. So I just can't cast this Remodi because it's, it's not a May. When it enters, you have to discard a card. And I do not want to discard either of these cards. In exchange for eternal servitude. They should be taken up. Okay, they did. Gur making waffles with that resub. Have been Thank you so much. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Alright, well that'll work. I will have revenge for House Marco. Blake Crafter doing work. Thank you so much, Playcrafter. See you later. <laughs> Ooh. I abhor my That's a good draw. Take this Never thief, hit him with it. With your crew for my freedom. <laughs> oh, this deck is awesome. Oh, this deck is awesome. Uh, let's take a Ravager. Nah, Capnet. We'll go Ravager. <laughs> Play would be like, hey, Todd, ah, I'm dead. <laughs> no fire, no steel. Yeah, the Playcrafter can't catch a break. It always just enters and... It's like it's trying to enter the battlefield and just, like, slips on the banana peel and falls down. All right, Soren gone. One day. Finally. No fire. Discard something cool for no me to command the Dread Horde back. Come on, you can do it. Uh, Sinister Sabotage? Nah. So 
So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21. And 23. Down to two. I have caused oh, once again. Back up to six. And the victory. Coming back after that first non that first game that was a, the first match that was just non games. Where's my fanfare? There we go. And picking up the five wins. Yeah, this deck was awesome. All right, so I think this deck has passed our, you know, I built it, well, like five days ago. We played it, you know, here on stream for the first time over there. I switched up two sideboard cards since last time. I had the, I had the fourth Playcrafter and the fourth Chupacabra in the sideboard and ended up getting rid of both of those for the Disparks. And I think that's I think that was a good trade, um, you know. I do I I wanted something. The reason the main reason why I was playing the Sparks is because I wanted something for Experimental Frenzy. So that gave us that. Um, but yeah, I think I think we we'll, I think this deck this deck lo looks very good. I think this deck's ready for Mythic. I think we'll we'll go ahead and take this over to Mythic um, for another stream, either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, yeah, let's let's take this over to Mythic because yeah, this deck felt really awesome. Uh, we did not play against Mono Red this time, and I think that's what I think we struggled against that a little bit previously. I believe I, I know we lost. I know I know we drew really bad against Mono Red and like flooded out in two games and, and lost it to it once, like where we couldn't draw anything. But uh, our you know against Mono Red like Soren with that Life Link is is pretty valuable. Daredevils are just good against Mono Red, you know, like taking their burn spells and killing their things and, and so on. And Chupacabra. But I wanted something for Frenzy, so that's why we got the Disparks. Of course, we have the Lyras in the sideboard also and more Baffling Ends for more removal for their creatures early. Um, yeah. So, um, against Nexus decks, probably not so good. No, this is probably not very good against the Nexus decks. No, I wouldn't think so. This deck is really, really good at grinding and just re, you know, recycling through the two drops and everything and, and grinding out with these Planeswalkers. Uh, but no, we wouldn't be very good against the Nexus decks. It, if, like, you're really worried about Nexus decks, the, you know, we need, like, more discard and stuff. Like, Kite Seal Freebooters would be pretty good. I think that would be, like, a, a pretty decent card to be playing for that kind of matchup. But Dispark works well in that matchup for sure. Dispark's awesome there. You know, Wilderness Reclamation, Tamiyo, get to exile those things. Probably want more Disparks. Um, so, nope. Yeah, I don't have any duresses in here. Which is weird. A, a black deck with no duresses, but that's where we're at. Um, so, yeah, that's Mardu Midrange. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Marty Midrange. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.